Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk about stuff pertaining to cloud security and artificial intelligence risks. Uh, in this new video, uh, I want to talk about something which is very important, which is having a cloud security certification path. You know, you, we hear about all these new cloud security certifications which are there, like AWS, uh, like Azure, like Google, and we have like things like the CCSP, the CCSK, all these cloud security certifications are there, which are absolutely an excellent way to get into security, especially cloud security. And they are a great way inside the door, but which do you choose? And should you go with a platform specific, like a vendor specific, should, should you go with a vendor neutral? So in this video, I want to talk about that, the importance of these certifications and which one, like depending on like the technology you should choose. Uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified of new videos and uh, it will really help the channel grow also. Okay, so let's see and uh, take a look at uh, about this topic. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at this. Uh, so this is what I was talking about, uh, having a cloud security certification path. So if you're planning to enter the cloud security field, so getting certified usually is the best way to get your foot in the door, right? It shows to managers that you're serious about having a cloud security career and you've done the necessary hard work. It's also a great way to build a solid foundation of cloud knowledge, uh, which will help you on starting out. So, uh, and I, what do you call, I, I think I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos also, when I told how you should get started in cloud security. I link it, so you can refer to that also. But let's take a look. So, uh, I, so these are a few of the cloud security certifications that are present. Now, a, a lot of cyber security professionals, you know, they have a love-hate relationship with certifications. Some of them say that uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just a paper certificate and it's no substitute for experience. While some believe it is very much required, a necessary validation. Uh, personally, I believe cloud security certifications are very useful. It helps professionals like you get in your foot in the door and it gives a very good baseline on which you can build your additional knowledge. However, like I said, one problem which a lot of people face is how do you start your cloud security certification path? Like which certification should you go for? Should you go for like, a, what do you call, uh, a platform agnostic one, right? One which does which is not specifically tied to any uh, platform like the CCSK or the CCSP. Or should you go with a platform specific one like AWS, Microsoft Azure or the Google Cloud, okay? Because the, the difference, like I said, the platform specific ones are they, are, they are bound to a particular platform and they assume that you have knowledge of the platform you're trying to secure. If you have zero knowledge of the cloud, if you have no cloud security experience at all, then I would suggest going with the above ones, the CCSQ or the CCSP, because it'll really good give you a good foundation and it'll really help you jumpstart and give you a good understanding of the cloud. So let me, let's go over these certifications. I'm going to go over each of them and give my own opinion also about them. Okay. Okay. First of all, platform agnostic or the cloud platform agnostic ones. When talking about platform agnostic, like the discussion usually goes down to two, which is either the CCSK or the CCSP. So let's look at into detail. First one is a CCSK. This is a very, very popular certification. It's offered by the Cloud Security Alliance. Right? It gives you a good in-depth overview of cloud security concepts like cloud architecture, identity access management, you know, key management. It can be taken online. I think it's around 60 questions. And it has, it, it, you need to have a very good knowledge of the topics like CSA, the security guidance, INSA recommendations, CSA, cloud controls, metrics. You can read more details in the exam guide. And the good thing is you don't need any experience. So you can jump right into this certification. Usually a lot of people I know, like the entry level, they've done this certification. Uh, the next one is the CCSP. I think everybody is familiar with ISC2. They were famous for introducing the CISSP, which is considered to be the gold standard in uh, security certifications. So everyone was quite excited when they announced their, their own cloud security certification. You know, the CCSP is very similar to the CISSP. It's become very well respected in, in the industry. And it's for, it's for those people who have a few years experience. So you're supposed to go with in the CSS, CCSP domains, you know. I think they are on six domains you need to have uh, and you need to show experience. You should have at least five years experience of IT work before and one of those has to be in the cloud. So you can understand the CCSP, it benefits a lot from the respect and credibility which IC already has in the industry, you know, because of the CISSP. And it's a very good and a very respected certification. So which one would I recommend, guys? Uh, this one is a, a tough question. Both of them are excellent certification. They are backed by respected organizations. Uh, if you look at it, I mean, the format is 
same uh, CCSP, you need to try to be in person, right? You need to go there and give the certification, I believe. Uh, the requirements, uh, one thing should be noted, CCSP, you don't need any prior experience, but there's a CCSP, you need five years of experience. And one of them has to be in the cloud, okay? And the industry, industry like uh, level, the respect which they have, both of them are great. Uh, the cost, I haven't mentioned the cost because the cost changes and I whatever cost I put, it might change in six months, honestly speaking. But do keep in mind, a lot of time organizations, they do reimburse the cost. So you can take a look at that. I mean, if you want my opinion, guys, you should depend, it depends on where you are in your career. If you are a mid to senior level professional, you should go with the CCSP. While people like new with cloud security should go to the CCSK. So it really depends on if you are like a completely new individual, I would not recommend going for the CCSP. You should go to the CCSK. But if you are like a mid uh, to senior level person, definitely go with the CCSP. That will help you out. Okay. So now let's move on to platform specific certifications. And they show you experience in a particular cloud provider, right? Azure, AWS, GCP. They have hundreds of services. And like uh, companies can have like very critical applications running in the cloud. And they want people who they know around they, they know that they know these services and they know how to operate them a specialized certification will really help you stand out in their eyes so let's take a look at what cloud security certifications you can take well you have the aws security specialty i like this particularly because i am in aws right now i'm in working in aws london uh, it's the most popular cloud platform in the world today uh, the demand for certified aws professionals is not going to go away anytime soon the AWS Certified Security Specialty, especially, is it's, it's a great certification to show because there are so many AWS security services you won't believe, right? So people, the management wants to know that you know how to configure AWS Guard Duty or config a security hub. AWS does recommend that you have a few years experience before you do this test. So don't do it if you have if you don't have any experience of AWS. My recommendation is go with the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. Okay. Go with the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. That is a beginner level certification. It will give you a very good foundation. And then you can take the AWS Security Specialty. It will make it much easier, in my opinion. Don't jump directly into this certification, okay? Because this is a, like advanced one. Uh, so go with the uh, Solutions Architect Associate if you don't have any experience. Okay, uh, the next one is Azure. So for those on Microsoft Azure platform, the Azure Security Engineer Associate is a great certification. It will validate your experience, you know, configuring security services and data protection. You're expected to have a very good knowledge of the platform and, how, and know how the services interact with each other as per Microsoft Guide. Uh, you should be like a, a subject matter expert in these things. Uh, one advantage it might have over the AWS is most people who are not on the cloud, but they are familiar with Microsoft services. So the learning curve isn't that difficult as like with AWS and Google Cloud Platform. You get certified by basically passing the AZ500 exam However, one very important point to note, guys, I've given this uh, exam also. So it, it Microsoft have added lab uh, questions to the AZ500. So do not try this exam if you do not have hands-on experience with the platform and the different services of which Azure offers. If your concept is only theoretical and you try to give this exam, you'll have a lot of problems. So know your way around the Azure console, have at least like six months experience with Microsoft Azure before you try to attempt this examination, okay, guys? Okay, last one is the Google Cert Cloud Certified Cloud Security Engineer. It's similar to the previous two, and it rounds out all the three providers. Uh, the Google Security Engineer, it proves basically it proves the same thing as before, that you have the ability to secure, design, and implement Google Cloud, okay? The foundational elements are pretty similar to Azure AWS. You know, you should know things like identity access management, data production, key management. Uh, this is a great certification to have. And, but one thing I would tell you, I would definitely recommend having it if you're planning to work on the Google Cloud, but it is a stepping stone to one of the most in-demand certifications, which is around, which is the Google Professional Cloud Architect, okay? The GC, GP, GPCA. Uh, it's technically not a security certification, but it's a very in-demand cert. If you do this, please do the, the make plans to do that also. It'll really make you stand out in the, uh, in the crowd of people right now and it really it will give you a boost to your career and to your salary okay so definitely i've made a detailed video on that how to pause that exam also it's not a security exam but definitely try it it'll give you a it'll really make you stand out amongst the people for your career and everything i would give you that advice okay so these were the top three certifications which i was talking about and guys one more please one thing i would definitely before don't forget that uh, it I, I hope i gave you a good idea 
but and they are, all of these certifications are a great way to show your expertise and give your career the boost but please the goal the golden rule is certifications are not the end goal certifications will get your foot in the door but the cloud is an extremely challenging field you will not go far without hands on experience simply having lots of certs will not will, will help you during the interview process but it's your hard work and experience that will make the difference in the long run so make sure that along with the certification you have the required skills also to make your cloud career like you know really successful in the long run i did make a video on that like which are the skills you need to have to be successful in cloud security so i'll i'll link that also do take a look at that if you're interested so i hope i gave you a good overview guys uh please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful so that will it will help the channel grow also uh please let me if you felt i could have added something or maybe i missed something do mention in the comment section below and thank you and i'll see you in the next video